This is the 2019 level 2 electricity exam, question 1. Question 1. Jason needs to find a lamp for his bike. When he pulls apart an old lamp, he finds some circuit, simplified version of the circuit found in Jason's bike lamp is shown. Um, we just have a DC circuit. Um, the voltmeter reads 4 volts to show that the circuit current is 0.8 amps. Um, so this is just going to be Ohm's law. This is the show question. So first we need to write the formula. V equals I, I R. My pen's not working. There we go. Um, and now we need to rearrange for current. So I is equal to, we just divide both sides by the resistance. So we have voltage divided by the resistance, which is equal to 15 volts. Hold on, wait. Voltmeter reads 4 volts. So this is the voltage. I'm going to write this here, voltage here, and all the current will flow through there. All the current will flow through there. I hope you can see that, yep. Um, so that means the voltage across this resistor is four volts. Um, so we have four volts, and the resistance is five ohms, um, and that does actually equal 0 0.8 amps. Funny story, this headlamp actually sells on AliExpress. I was actually looking to buy it for my mountain bike to try and buy it in the winter. Um, so it's a little bit deja, deja vu. Um, anyway, calculate the heat energy dissipated by the resistor mark R. Um, so there's just sort of, you learn this in gear 13, but it's, it's conservation of energy. All the energy that's given by the battery is used by the circuit. So at the moment it's giving 15 joules per coulomb, which means 15 joules of energy per each little packet of electrons that's traveling through. So if this gets four volts, that implies that this must have 11 volts because all the energy needs to be used before it gets back to the start. And that only works in a closed loop. So if you do a loop, any loop, um, your energy has to be used. And that just means it needs to add to zero. In other words, this minus this minus this equals zero. So this is 11 volts. Um, and what are we gonna do? So we're gonna go power is equal to current times voltage. All the current flows through that resistor so it's going to be 0 0.8 times, and the voltage is 11 volts, 11 volts, and it's 2 minutes. So it's going to be times by 2 times 60 is 120 seconds. You have to do it in, the units have to be in seconds, can't be in minutes, otherwise it's not SI units. Um, and that is, what's that? Let's just grab my calculator. And we get 1,056. So 1,000. 56 joules. Right, 2SF, 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 we're gonna round that to 1050. So, um, call this energy. Ah, power equals this, power times time. I need to just register, uh, yeah, I'll do this. Energy um, is equal to power times time. I completely just skipped over that because I knew what I was doing. <laughs> right, another way, I'm going to write this a different way. Um, power is equal to energy over time. Um, and then I just move the time up to that side. Um, so power times time equals energy. I completely missed that, but I just did that subconsciously. Whoops. Um, 10,050 joules. Right. Um, right, next question. Another part of the circuit is lamps shown below. Calculate the total resistance of the circuit. Or I need to think about this as if you've never seen this before. So to work out um, resistances for any crazy complex circuit, there's a method to the madness. You've got to sort of start from the inside and work out. So here, if I was to join these two in parallel, the, oh, it doesn't really work. The way, I've never actually understood. I've always never really questioned it, but you always add these here in series because you could really just pretend this is just one resistor joined together. Um, whereas these two here, the, the current could go down this way or down that way. So this here, all the current has to go through here. So it experiences all the resistance and it's sequential. So the current has to go through here, through here and through here. Um, so these here add together. Um, so you get 6 plus 5.6, which will give me 11.6 ohms. Now, some current could go down through there and some current could go up through there. So now we need to, and this means there's two ways for the current to go, which means it's like way less resistance. Um, kind of like if you had the choice of going through 
two doors in front of you know one door then another door or you just get to choose going to the door of the left the door of the right or the door on the right it's very easy to choose one on the left or one on the right compared to going through two doors stacked together um, there's a little more to that analogy um, that i'm not going to go over but anyway so the formula for resistance in uh, series is equal to r1 plus r2 oops plus r3 etc etc so that's just going to equal to uh, 6 plus zero. i'm just going to redo this one plus 5.6 is equal to 11.6 ohms in parallel so 1 over our total and this is a, this is for parallel circuits how we can see that there's going to be 1 over um, 11.6 plus 1 over 3.2 now this would give us the inverse of the answer so I'm just going to compute that now I'll just do that on my calculator and we can see that I get 0 0.3987 so 0 0.3987 I don't round until I get to the very end now this is equal to 1 divided by RT so what we need to do is we need to flip both sides so we need to divide we need to divide this so we go 1 divided by all of that and we go 1 divided by all that and 1 divided by 1 divided by RT is just equal to RT um, so it's like algebra stuff so then on my calculator if you've got a graphics calculator you can go 1 divided by shift answer and then that'll give me 2.5 ohms so equals 2.5 oh, 0 0.8 so I'll round to 1 I hope you can see that 0 0.8 um, ohms sweet next question what do we got um, let me see that Jason's friend Deborah designs the following circuit lights and Jason wonders which circuit would give out the most light. All lamps are identical. Circuit 2 has an extra lamp. Uh, by considering the combined brightness of all the lamps in the circuit, give a comprehensive explanation comparing the total brightness of circuit 1 uh, to circuit 2. So what we're going to think about is we're going to think about total resistance. So this here let's just and they're all identical so let's just assign every single resistor a resistance r and we could just make that one ohm um but i'm not going to because i want to try and do it hardcore ah oh, do i do it hardcore algebraic yeah why not um <laughs> so this here i'm going to have um this is going to be circuit two so i'm going to have um circuit two Total resistance, total resistance um, equals. And you're probably thinking, why the hell am I even doing this? What I want to do is I want to find out what the total resistance is, and the one with the least resistance will have the most current going through it. They're all getting 12 volts. So this here completely, and all this here completely will have 12 volts across it. Um, so the voltages is going to be constant. And the circuit that with the with the least resistance will draw the most current, which will mean it'll have the highest power output. And as far as level two is concerned, for some reason power equals brightness. But whatever, I'm not going to get into that. Um, so I need to add these resistances together. Um, so I'm going to call parallel branch, parallel branch um, equals one over r total is equal to 1 over uh, 1, and this is going to be R1, 2, 3, 4. Um, oh, let's just, I could just call them R's, screw it. I don't want to call them R1's, 2's. This is going to be 1 over R plus 1 over R plus 1 over R. Um, and we can see that 1 over RT is equal to 3 over R, because 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. Yay! Um, so now... We can see, I was going to chuck an arrow there, our total is equal to, uh, if we flip this round, 1 over 3 R. So I just I just flipped this round, so I ended up with the R on top and the, and the 3 down the bottom, so it's 1 over 3 R, and then um, plus series unit, plus a series piece, P-I-E-C-E. Um, equals R, this one here, 
plus 1 over 3R. So this is a total circuit resistance for, for circuit 2. And now I'm going to go circuit 1. You can probably see where I'm going now. Circuit 1, total resistance. Resistance um, is going to be equal to... You can probably see where I'm, so I'm going to just add these together. It's going to be 1 over RT is equal to 1 over R plus 1 over R, um, which equals 2 over R. In other words, RT is equal to half R. Same as above, but now instead of having 3, I've got 2. Um, so plus series PIECE. -E. Um, I'm going to have equals R plus half R. Right. I just realized I think I might have gone a little bit too hardcore with the algebra, whatever. So I'm gonna just, oh, so I'm gonna talk about it now. So I'm gonna say, as we can see, circuit two has less resistance than circuit one. Because of this, it'll draw more current. And from the formula P equals IV, so power equals current times voltage, um, both of the circuits have the same voltage, thus circuit two will put out more power. So I'll just pause, write that out, and then go over again. Right, so I said, as we can see, circuit two has less resistance than circuit one, and I'll put the resistance in there. Um, R equals, R. I should have put the resistance for this, R plus half, R, R plus a third R. Um, as both circuits have the same voltage, V equals IR, circuit two will draw more current, as power equals current times velocity, uh, current times voltage. Circuit two draws more current with the same voltage, so we have a greater power output. You need to say they have the same uh, voltage. Um, and then I said, as power represents brightness, circuit two will be brighter. You also need to say which, what the answer is. You need to answer it. It's asking which is brighter. 